Hello YouTube viewing audience, this is just the follow-up video after the coordinator came back up. Uh, I don't really have that much more to go, so it'll be a pretty short one I suspect, but I should finish what I began. So hopefully we do get- oh! Okay, so I accidentally hit the back button on my mouse and that uh, put me back to the treasury, which instantly finished the animation, I guess. That's something I guess uh, is good to know. Uh, maybe another 50 levels? Oh wow, we actually get an extra 100 levels, so I, yeah, I definitely overbought. Jeez. Right, let's, uh, let's apply these, I guess. Boop. Alright. There we go. Not bad. And we should be getting something very nice. Alrighty, here we go. The big one. Yes. Oh, and it comes with a treasure one. Thanks. Alright, so I guess uh, from now on it's probably just more treasures. I mean, should I even activate the next 50 levels? It's just treasures. So how many will that get me? I'm on uh, 10, 36, so it should end at 86 right here that'll get me one two three four five only five treasures from that so um i don't know i could sell it for like twenty dollars on the steam market let me check not tradable or marketable so i guess we just have to all right and let's go get the rest of our stuff all right treasure two three and it's interesting, um, if you actually look at the design, so this one is kind of just smoking. Um, this one's really kind of really fiery, kind of bursting out of the cache. And for the Treasure 3, it's actually just like green crazy fire. So, I don't know, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's open up the Treasure 1s first. I think we'll only have like uh, three of them, I guess. So let's start this up. Maybe we'll get the ultra rares. I don't know how escalating odds works. Does it work for the individual item? Or does it work for the whole rare set? That's the question. Alright, so I guess I can draw out this video by not skipping a little bit. It's going to be a pretty short video either way, but, you know, whatever. Here we go. And this one actually resets, so we can get any of the immortals at this point, but I mean, we're really just looking for the rares. And nope. So, Immortal Treasure 1, nothing much to talk about. Let's see if Treasure 2 has anything worthwhile. So, I am temporarily staying in a dormitory. There will be a little bit of noise outside, unfortunately, but in here we are getting. Dashed hopes and dreams, apparently. Yep, that's uh, that's how it would go. That's how it would go. All right, and uh, maybe this time, no. Okay, another standard chest. I think that might be the it. Yes, we have no more chances at the actually yes we do if we roll more treasure 50s or level 50 treasures or upgrades we do have more chances so this is actually technically the best potential chest uh treasure immortal treasure 3 because you can keep rolling these rares and uh keep getting more treasures looks like we're not going to be doing that this time oh it looks like hawk jerk is back let me get him in a curse call Alright, I uh, just activated the steam overlay there, so I might have paused due to two. Alright, let's see, maybe this lark? Nope. Alright. And this is going to be the last treasure, looks like, and it'll be a standard. Alright, so I think that's everything. Uh, nothing else to open. Let's check. 
We could open these, but I could probably save those for another video. So yeah, that was pretty much my experience with the International Six. I'm going to be uh, betting away these points later, but yeah, let's see how uh, full our uh, uh, collection of Immortals is. Alright, so we actually are only missing, so these technically don't count, but um, didn't get any of the uh, collector's cash items. We did not get the uh, Slark Immortal uh, in gold form, and we did not get the Ultra Rares, as in the uh, Dark Artistry set for in Booker, or the Mace of Aeons for Faceless Void. But, on the upside, we did get the Disciple of the Worm Rot Flame. So actually, I haven't looked at the... Um, New Immortal Treasure 3 uh, blog post before. So let's actually look through the animations. Alright, so let's see. For Slark, when we pounce, we get a nice uh, custom essence shift. Can we play this? Is it an animation? No, it doesn't look like it. So it looks like there's definitely a pounce effect. Maybe a dark packed effect as well. Uh, where did I just get scrolled down to? Okay then, that was strange. Oh, okay, so that's that's kind of weird. Anyway, um, what? Wait, no, no, this is the wrong treasure three, dude. All right, here we go. And for Earth sh sh Spirit, not Shaker, the Jade Reckoning. Pretty oh, they do have animations. Okay, so let's see. His boulder gets turned into that, which is pretty weird, but pretty cool. And I'm getting scrolled around again, so let me try to find where we just were. River Vials, Taunts, Level 1000, Gardens, here we go, we're back. Next, the Bane, Slumbering Terror, uh, it includes a custom Nightmare effect. So, I mean, come on, get on with it, Valve. See what it looks like. Bane, you can nightmare yourself at any time. Or an enemy. Oh, okay, so it actually adds this crazy ghoul above their head. That's pretty weird. <laughs> wow. Okay, next we have the um, auspicious auspice of the wire. <sighs> I'm not going to read that. It's too much. <laughs> Oh, okay, so whenever he uh, rolls, it'll uh, kind of show a, um, what's it called? Slots machine wheel on top whenever he hits multicast. Okay, not bad. Next we have Razor's Severing Lash. Alright, wow, he looks so good walking around. Let's see what he does when he's attacking someone or leashing them or whatever. Alright, so the attack animation has changed to the um, better looking lightning. Oh, wow, that is pretty cool. The uh, circle whatever ring is pretty amazing as well. Wow. Alright, so it doesn't actually affect the leash, but um, it is a really cool effect. Oh, wow. So, yeah, mana shield looks pretty cool with this. So definitely that uh, compensates for the uh, relative uh, less visible uh, cosmetic. Alright, so there's that, there's these gold inversions, and Lena, which is actually with the one that we got. So let's see what is uh, different. Let's try to get the sound effect in here, can we? No. Uh, is that the attack animation? Oh, oh, that was quick. I didn't really get to see what just happened. Okay then. Laguna? Oh, wow. Okay, that's some um, Dragon Ball Z stuff right there. Alright, well, that'll be the end of this video. We don't really have much else to show you or do but yeah if you have any comments questions want to join the steam group see more videos it's all on my um, YouTube channel and uh, I think my steam group is in the link of every video so you can find it easily there so I'll see you guys in the next video goodbye